Apparently these are TikToks that only girls will understand. Let's see. Run to y'all public restrooms ASAP to get that Dyson Airblade curls. Wait, actually? <gasps> this is why we take so long in the bathroom. We're trying to get our money's worth. <laughs> when girls are looking for something they lost. <laughs> Holding up boobs can mean many things. One, we're checking our bras for things we might have lost. It's how we make up for not having enough pockets. Or two, emotional support. Or three, making sure we didn't lose our boobs in the process of finding other things we lost. You just never know. I can't tell if I like the way I look or not. Are you kidding? Stunning. But also I feel you. Actually, I actually have no idea what I actually look like because I've been comparing myself to 15 year old Brazilian models my whole life. And then Mike Wazowski. And then, <laughs> no. Hi. The internet really has given us body and beauty complexes. But I promise you, everybody has days they look like that. Even the people you're comparing yourself to. I want everyone to go into the comments and say one nice or awesome thing about yourself. Why? Because you're awesome and you deserve to love yourself. Do How you girls read text. To hang out. Do you even want to hang out? Oh, that's considerate. Ah! Like I said, whatever. <laughs> like I said, whatever? This guy. <gasps> Is it possible that all our fights with boyfriends have just been giant misunderstandings? I'll admit, all my exes are pretty oblivious to me being passive aggressive. What? You were mad? I thought you were just giving me space because you love me. No, no you idiot. idiot. Okay, boys, when they lean in for a kiss, they close and squint their eyes. You know what? I feel this is kind of true. I mean, I'm sure not everybody does it, but staring into someone's soul before you kiss them seems a little creepy, so. Oh, something feels off. Oh no. <laughs> it's stung by a wasp. You guys, if you know, you know. Nothing is worse than this. Isn't it weird when you get like a phantom one and it never even happened? Like you're just questioning reality. Girls taking pictures check. Whoa, the double sided phone hack. I don't know why, but it's so much easier to take a cute photo when you can see yourself. For some reason, that's the only time I know how to open my eyes. Otherwise, I'm like and hunched over. Let me know if you can relate. Me, I'm not nosy. Me, when a couple suddenly archives all their pics of each other. Listen, if you're gonna make your relationship public, you gotta make the breakup public too. We're all invested in your relationship. We're cheering you on. And then you just leave us confused like that? It's like when you're watching your favorite TV show and it ends on a cliffhanger. Telling your friends the things you did after the breakup becomes way too embarrassing to tell them while you're together. I mean, it kind of makes sense too, cause like, you don't wanna like talk badly about your partner to all your friends, cause then they're gonna hate them. Cause they're not in the relationship with you. So they don't see both sides. They don't see the good. So if you're only telling them the bad, how can you blame them for not liking your partner? How I look moisture rising my hands <laughs> versus how I feel. I thought I was the only one that felt like a rag planning world domination. I gotta say I'm relieved when you're trying to make coffee at home, but God has other plans for you. No! Don't you hate it when you trip, fall, and then land in the Starbucks drive-thru? <laughs> it's just so tough being clumsy. Me trying to explain to my mom I only got marked absent because the teacher took attendance wrong. Mom, I swear, the teachers are just out to get me. All of them. It's like a big conspiracy. When I was in school, they used to call like the home phone, and then I would make sure that me and my bestie were on the phone so that they couldn't call. It was scary times, let me tell you. 10 year old me shaving my hairy legs after my parents said I had to wait until I was 13. This was so me. I felt this. I had the strictest parents growing up, but I think I turned out all right. Shout out to all my hairy girls in gym class. I promise you it's not that bad. Own it, queens. My mom, I don't trust them. Me, well, I do, and they're my friends. My mom, you'll see. Three months later, I saw it. This is so true. How do they know? Moms have like superpowers. They always know which friends are like fake friends or finding anything that you've lost. They just know where it is. What I say isn't really lost until your mom can't find it. Then it's really lost. And you're not getting it back. When well, your toxic traits are isolation and avoidance, but your love languages are quality time and physical touch. The complete opposites. The only person that really suffers from being mad is yourself. I feel like tag. Somebody come give me a hug. When you walk into a department store and see an expensive perfume brand. Oh, when I was young, I'm not gonna lie, we used to do this, and now I feel terrible. And I feel bad for whoever bought those bottles. Now I understand why they locked them up. When I ask a girl where her cute top is from, and she says, I don't know. That'll do it. <laughs> You don't have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. There's a special place in hell for people who gatekeep. 
drip. Unless you really don't know, then I understand. Like share the love when you can't get your lashes wet for 24 hours. That's when the universe really be testing you. Days when you can't ruin your makeup, your fake tan or your lashes are the days you fail your math exam, get in a fight with your bestie and get ghosted by your crush. Also, your car probably broke down that day. I see you universe, quit trolling us. When the makeup routine you've done every day looks bad for literally no reason. What's going on? I don't know what type of law this is, but for some reason, on days that I don't care, I'm just like testing a makeup hack, flawless. Best I've ever looked. But when you're doing your makeup before a very important life event, can't get those eyeliners even, everything is messed up. On those days, my eyeliner looks like a two-year-old drew it. Dance if you're way too traumatized to date again. My sweet baby girl, innocent child, who hurt you? Our girl over here was about to do a backflip, the worm, and spin on her head. I've been there. I've been in situations where like, I never want to date again. I got over it. <laughs> Me looking up the Instagrams of all 500 people in my Zoom lectures instead of paying attention. Okay, this is super important. You gotta know what everybody's like. When you're just trying to film a little video and your ex walks by. Let me kind of start, um, start, sorry, there's people walking by. <laughs> Hang on, let me just. <laughs> My skittles. <laughs> that was so smooth. Like Thousand skills flying everywhere. It's not like she could have just like <laughs> played it cool and acted like she didn't see him or recognize oh him. God. What if he saw you and you're like hiding and he's just like, what's up with her? That's not a shot class. That was a menstrual cup. Mm. I hope that got washed out. When I'm at my own funeral, but I hear my best friend calling out the fakes that showed up. <gasps> ah! And this, ladies and gentlemen, are what besties are for. Especially for us shy and dead girls out there. We just have a harder time standing up for ourselves, you know? Girls going to the bathroom in a one-piece fillet. <sighs> this is the worst. <laughs> oh, I really feel like that. Like a naked mole rat in a bathroom. But also you can't pee your pants because your pants are technically your shirt. It's just a mess. Should I text my ex? She's like, should I text my ex? And they all said, no. You'll never know true love is supported until you ask them like this in a woman's bathroom. Oof, they got your back. I've met some of my best friends in moments like this. I don't remember their names, but I'll cherish them forever. Proofreading my best friend's text for any spelling mistakes before she sends it to her boyfriend. Oof, we all need a proofreader, especially for big moments like this. I wonder if our partners know that when they're talking to us, they're really talking to us and all our friends. I don't know if it's a fair playing field. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls know that if you run over a curb while doing this, then it's the curb's fault. <laughs> what? Why don't more driving schools teach this? That curb honestly has no business coming up out of nowhere. The amount of confidence Chloe, I need. Face? Um, beauty. <laughs> oh, the confidence. I want to steal this line. And if anybody asks me where I got it, I'm going to say my therapist, AKA the small child on the internet who told me to do it. Oh no, it looks like you all have the same thing on your face. Beauty. That's how women will make jokes about guys that don't have a bed frame or like a guy with no bed frame is a red flag. Meanwhile, your beds look like this. Look on the <laughs> nightstand. There's a salt lamp, a book about witchcraft and an open pack of prosciutto <gasps> on top of a taser flashlight. I am speechless. This man roasted me within an inch of my life. I can literally smell burning flesh. Roasted! You can come for me, but do not come for my bedtime prosciutto. A girl needs some midnight snacks. Also, don't mess with her. She got a witchcraft book on the side of her bed. Pass one of her spells on you. <laughs> when you said you were staying in, but accidentally start pre-gaming. <laughs> oh, she's fabulous. Look at that dress. So tragic when accidents like this happen. We just like fall into Chardonnay and can't get up. Although I do feel like the reverse of this happens to me much more often, but good for her. We are heading to the club at nine, so be sure to um, arrive then and dress sexy this time. Dress sexy? I always dress sexy. Mm. You tend to lean more towards a Diane Keaton vibe. I'm oh, sorry. What's not sexy about America's sweetheart, Diane Keaton? Hey, I don't know who Diane Keaton is, but anybody who rolls up to a club in a turtleneck, crushing it. They chose comfort. That's confidence right there. I mean, you're just like, don't care. And honestly, nothing sexier than confidence. It's true. Have you noticed that people always love really confident people? There's a reason for it. Do you like your pepperoni to be curled? Well, you've come to the right place. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> That pepperoni got the Dyson Air out before me. It did? <laughs> 
Honestly, would we want the most the Dyson Airwrap? It's hard seeing someone live the life you want, even if that someone is a pepperoni. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls sometimes <laughs> get into sex. Have you ever not known not what, what you wanted to eat? So you take little bites of every single thing you have until every single little thing turns into a full meal, and then you're not hungry anymore. Technically, it's kind of like a charcuterie board. You just cut out the middleman, but also added cereal. <laughs> My coworker's still trying to fix the printer, even though I put healing crystals on it. She put some rose quartz on its heart chakra. That always does it for me. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you can't fix everything with crystals. I wish you could. Me finally over my ex, now caring about his life. The happy birthday, I see you're doing well text. Ooh, this is a PSA. If you broke up with someone and you know they still care about you, let them heal. If you keep coming back into their life, you're being selfish because you're not letting them get over you. Does that make sense? And this goes the other way around too. If you want to get over someone, you can't see them all the time. You need to heal first and only then can you have a healthy friendship. Otherwise, it's just pain and hurt feelings. Do I give good advice? I hope I do. <laughs> Struggles. Only girls who work out will understand. Taking off a sweaty sports bra. It fights for its life to stay on. Sitting down. Oh, nothing worse than like thighs that are sore. And going up the stairs, it really feels like you got to lift every leg like that. But you know what? I never have any of these problems when I just sit at home and order pizza. <laughs> that was terrible advice. Don't take that advice. Go to the gym, but also have that pizza. <laughs> Do both. That is good advice. Be healthy and enjoy your life. Me when I'm on FaceTime with my boyfriend, but remember, he liked another girl at some point. I wasn't thinking about getting a sticker <laughs> on my g -top. <laughs> How dare he have a life before me? As far as I'm concerned, my partner was in one of those like fish tanks from the Matrix, just like waiting for me to be ready. And I don't want to hear otherwise. JK, 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 JK. To all my girls out there, if you understand me, please give this video a like. All I have to do is literally show you. Okay, at first I thought it was a tiny headband, but then I realized it's my sworn enemy, the underwire. I just didn't recognize it because I haven't worn it since the Rona started. <laughs> Making phone calls for my non-confrontational friends. Hello, Kyle. I'm calling on behalf of your ex-girlfriend. How are you doing this morning? You're doing bad? Well, that tracks since you suck and have the charisma of a doorknob. She <sighs> wants your stuff back, Kyle. It's time. You don't want to give it back? Perfect. Kyle, let me ask you a question. Are you familiar with I'm the Caribbean gray tree frog? They are some of nature's best <gasps> climbers. They're quick and stealthy. Kyle, I have been compared to the Floridian gray tree frog by many amphibian specialists because I too will scale the side of a building without pausing to consider whether I'll live or die. If you do not return your ex-girlfriends, my best friend's belongings yourself, I will climb into your house with my little <laughs> tree frog toes and I'll get the stuff myself and then I'll set fire to everything you love. And then I'll crawl my little tree frog butt I'm out scared, of there and meet so your ex-girlfriend at IHOP for pancakes. Unless, of course, you want to bring her stuff to my house and leave it in the mailbox. Amazing. Thanks, Kyle. Your stuff will be here by three. A good female friendship means you'll always have a lawyer, a mediator, a proofreader, a bounty hunter, and someone who will give you awesome French braids. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Have a lower belly pouch. Gorgeous, Preach gorgeous queen. girls. Really don't give a f Yes! Love your body. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I don't want to go. I almost never Wait, want to finish the go. sentence with her. I just, just want to be invited. Want to be invited. I knew it. Because that's exactly how I feel. I don't want to go, but I do want to be invited. I want the option to go. I just want to be included, you know? Don't we all just want to be included? At the end of the day, it's just you, your emotional support water bottle, and your emotional support book. True. Against the world. This is so true. Tell me in the comments what your emotional support book is. Mine is watching seven hours of TikTok where people restock their fridges in the most oddly satisfying way. I know it's like not a book technically, but it's soothing. I want you all to look at your emotional support water bottle and take a sip because staying hydrated is important. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice other. I'll see you in the next video.